Kamegalia kadon kam dokha hadu kumba laipu ar hajar metric ton hakashisnam kabakot hadu kumba rius pa saupok lur tengka kabai thi dokha hakashisnam pentip u menteri rangba kajala konrad ke sangma hayeng dorbar haba jubab halor kajingkeli bawanra ada MLA kanong po ba Mirbons im u menteri rangba uraya thuru bana ki laipu ar hajar ton ba kajala kadon kam kumba ar phuwe hajar ton lala ban penmi hi na kajala U Menteri Rangba U Lapan Tepru Baka Sorkar ke Lapan Kre Ban Penbu Neki Jaka Penmi Sembai Doka Kenang Baka Jela Kan La Ban Pendap Hi Nalade Ya Kajin Don Kam Kabakot Kumba Hingga Fusan Milian Teli Haka Shisnem Shisnem Ada reply at A and B and C also It is quite impressive And I would like to thank The Honorable Chief Minister and the Government Despite of this There are challenges in which the fish farmer are facing like inadequate infrastructure uh, limited market access and also how to deal with the outbreak of disease so with regard to this if we see at the respond at AC with regard to the capacity building I would like to know from the Honorable Chief Minister to a brief elaborate on the training and capacity building program provided for the fish farmer and how this program has contributed to the enhancement of the skills and their productivity. <coughs> uh, <coughs> yes, sir. The overall opportunity uh, in the fishery sector is, uh, is immense. Uh, just to give a small uh, idea to the House, sir, that our uh, rough uh, requirement a year is about 32,000 metric tons, which if you multiply in terms of the market price, plus and minus, of course, comes up to almost uh, 640 crores of annual consumption of fish in the year, in a year, sir, in the state of Meghalaya. Out of these 32,000 metric tons, sir, we are happy that because of the interventions that have taken place in the past many years, today almost two-thirds of the production, close to about 21,000 metric tons, is being produced in the state itself, which means close to about 400 crores goes to our own farmers because of the large amount of investments and different programs that have been uh, put into place in the last many years. So having said that, <clears throat> currently, sir, we have approximately 5,438.73 hectares of land or, I should say, water area under production right now, where, again, as I said, roughly about uh, uh, close to, uh, sir, about close to 40,000 farmers, in fact, more than that, are benefiting. Uh, regarding the capacity building, uh, we have different programs that are being held, uh, whether it is uh, you know, uh, short-term courses like three-day hands-on training, uh, which takes place at the MSFR and TI uh, for uh, 25 numbers of hatchery owners uh, was done very recently, sir. And in the past, many, many have been done. Five-day training. Uh, program for feed mill owners uh, outside the state, like the College of Fisheries in Tripura. Uh, so we are also having exposure trips uh, for our progressive farmers outside the state. Recently, uh, some had been sent to Kolkata. Uh, we are also having at district level many, many three-day and five-day training programs uh, being held in large numbers, as I said, not just at the state level, but also at the district level. So like that, sir, many training programs are being held because it is a very critical part of ensuring that all the interventions, whether infrastructure, the feeds, the seeds, uh, all of this uh, ultimately if um, our training and overall skilling is not given to the farmers, then obviously a large amount of that goes to waste. So therefore training and capacity building is a very, very important and integral part of the entire process. Sir. <clears throat>